Hi y'all, this is Larry at Deep South Texas. It's the middle of June and it is hot. <laughs> it's been uh, in the mid 90s for over a month now, a couple days over a hundred. But uh, some things in the garden are doing well. Let's take a look. Of course the sweet potatoes are doing well. They just love the heat. They've way outgrown their raised bed and they're blocking the paths everywhere you look. It'll be a while before we harvest these, but they look happy. My ginger, it started coming up over a month ago, but uh, I didn't see any turmeric until just the last week. And it's growing and it's growing fast. Happy to see that. This watermelon here though, it didn't like the heat. It had two watermelons on, which I have harvested. We'll uh, cut one of those open a little, a little bit later, but uh, this plant is done for the year. I have another watermelon plant over here. It gets uh, a little bit more shade than another one. And uh, so it's still, it's still looking pretty healthy. And it's just started putting on uh, a couple small watermelons now. The bananas, they love this hot weather. They're doing real well. In fact, they've, they've put on a whole new set of pups that uh, I really want to remove because I don't want them draining the water from these plants. Hoping for an earlier harvest of bananas this year. Some of my larger leeks are ready to harvest. Looking forward to that. And then we have a bunch of small ones. I think we'll let those go until next year. Peppers are still uh, growing and flowering and turning red, but they've slowed down quite a bit. I think uh, one of my problems, one of my personal problems here is when the tomatoes come out, I sort of stop fertilizing everything and uh, these peppers all probably need a shot of fertilizer now. Still lots of sugar rich peach peppers coming on. I harvested a ton of these <laughs> two weeks ago and uh, I've got some hot sauce started. We'll take a look at that in a little, in a little bit as well. The other crop that really loves the hot weather are the cow peas. These are the pink eyed purple hole peas and we have lots and lots of flowers. And uh, we even have some beans starting now. So, or peas I should say. Looking forward to harvesting these. Got. Uh, Two beds of these, and just like the sweet potatoes, they're, they're overflowing their beds. It's hard to walk down through here, but uh, they're doing good. I also have some red ripper peas planted. Let's go take a look at those. And here are the red rippers. They're doing well. And uh, I haven't seen any pea pods yet. But starting to see some flowers, and these flowers are a very pretty uh, purple color. So hopefully these will be putting on peas soon as well. Real happy about how they're doing. I finally uh, got around to harvesting my moringa leaves. I've taken them in the house and dehydrated them and uh, crushed them up, getting them ready to put into capsules. The garlic chives, they're growing like crazy. And the onion chives, they look like they're, uh, they're not liking this heat very well. Lemongrass looks good though. 
several nice uh, oranges coming on on the navel orange tree. So I have several empty beds in the garden right now. And I thought, well, with all that's going on in the world, I might try to uh, plant some wheat. So it's the wrong time of year to plant wheat, but I thought if, if nothing else, I'd get a cover crop out of it. But uh, I don't think I have any wheat growing. I've got tons of little tomato plants growing in this bed, but uh, I doubt that there's much wheat here. What do you think? Anybody else from uh, down south tried growing wheat? And what's the best time of year to plant it? I hate to plant it, you know, in the spring. I have other crops I want to plant, so. But in the summer, I don't have a lot. I gave it a try. I don't think I'm going to get anything. Finally picked my red onions. Here they are drying out. Not the, uh, the greatest onion crop, but um, not bad, not bad. Plenty of red onions for us. So some of the things uh, we touched on in the video is uh, red onions. So I harvested my red onions and here are a couple that have been cleaned up. From, uh, the rest are still drying out there. These are probably the nicest ones, you know, some pretty nice red onions. I also started my uh, hot sauce. So I took all of my hot peppers and uh, cleaned them off, chopped them in half, then threw them in a food processor and blended them down into mash. And I, I weighed that mash and put in uh, two and a half percent salt. And they're, they're fermenting away, <laughs> a half a gallon. <laughs> Now, that won't yield a half a gallon of sauce, but uh, that's more than I need for a year. So we'll be trying this in a while, quite a while till it's, till it's ready, but uh, I'm excited about that. Also, also harvested our two watermelons that were ready, and we're going to cut into one of these here shortly, but uh, not real big, but they look to be nice watermelons. We'll see what they look like on the inside. This one's been in the refrigerator for a couple weeks, so it's nice and cold. That's the one we're going to cut. And uh, the other thing accomplished is harvesting my moringa and uh, grinding it up, getting ready to put in the capsules. So I have about 400 grams. I, I harvested about 450 grams overall, and that's enough for more than 200 days, so not not bad. Well, let's uh, let's cut into one of these watermelons and see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. There, that looks like a watermelon. Looks like it's ready to eat. Let's uh, give it that taste test. Mm. Nice and sweet. Real happy with that. Be nice if they were a little bit bigger, but it's a fine watermelon. So we have several very nice crops still growing in the garden in this hot weather. Looking forward to a continued harvest here this summer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.